I have to take a break, then we're going to speak to Fran Drescher. All right. The nanny. <laughs> the nanny. Fran, uh, we're very happy for her. We backed her when everyone thought the show was a loser. Quite frankly, I thought the show was a loser. You know, her and her husband own the show. Oh, they own the nanny. Yeah. They're very smart Jeez. business people. So they're thrilled. They own a pasta place and a... Oh, yeah, those croutons. <laughs> yeah. Fran, Fran will be in here. In a, yeah, that's a little tacky, the whole crouton business, quite frankly. Yeah, the croutons. I can't even remember yeah. exactly Where, what they sell. I think the croutons, we've said goodbye to them now that the nanny is successful. She swears that the croutons kept uh, kept them alive during the strike a that's couple of years right. ago. Yeah, whatever. But I'll tell and you one thing. We always had Fran on. So now that her show's a hit, she certainly uh, owes us to come in here. Got a dynamite body and face on her. She's got a voice that would stop a truck, though. <laughs> her, her body looks just absolutely incredible. Of course. Today. She's wearing a little, like, patent leather miniskirt. Yeah. Well, she always wears those, wears those little suits. The tiniest waist. Yeah, I'd have to really do her hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. a little thing, Howard. You're always thinking of hurting little Snap her in half. <laughs> oh. Oh. No way to go. <laughs> yeah. He's never gentle. It's always a break them. <laughs> but uh, uh, hang in there with us. Fran will be with us. She's very annoying to listen to. Oh, stop oh. that. I think her voice is interesting. All right, listen. Let's take a break. We'll bring Fran in. Okay. You think I should ask her about some... She had some... She we had some have to ask everybody everything. We don't shy away from questions. I she think could not answer if she doesn't want. She talked to People Magazine right. about it. And I think that you guys know each other well enough now. Yeah, but maybe she'll get all depressed. No, no. If we can get off the subject. Vet. Just don't make light of it. I won't. I don't think that's funny. Jesus. But I don't want to, like, I don't want to make a... Jakey, <laughs> don't laugh while she's Yeah, don't here. laugh. Just throw in a crouton plug. <laughs> oh, you know how Jackie works. All right, we'll take a break, and we'll, we'll discuss it. And we'll be with the very beautiful Fran Drescher, who is the nanny. Very That's successful right. network television program. I was behind her all the way from the very beginning. Well, I got to admit, I said... I said it was a good show. I said that show will be on three weeks. <laughs> Say loaf and kisses, gourmet croutons. That's my great-grandmother and my mother. This picture is like 50 years old. And that's all we feed our dog. The dog has to eat the croutons. Or, you know, he doesn't get paid. <laughs> so he's a good uh, supporter of the company. <laughs> Are you excited to be here, Fran? Yes, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm always excited to put on a face full of makeup at 7.30 in the morning and come to Howie. <laughs> you know, he's my little nebbish. Where's Fran Dresser? Try to keep in mind at home, guys, when you listen to her, that, like, she's a really hot-looking girl, even though she sounds like your mother. But, that, should they imagine? but she puts that voice on a little bit. Well, they could imagine. Never know. I don't have to yeah. remember what you know that show, The Nanny? She's on that. Yeah, we just, she's a friend of the show. Let me, ooh, wait. Hold it. Let me soak it in. Yeah, man. So cute. Okay. So cute. So we watch you on E! all the time now. You're not wearing a bra. the best one. Why would you say that? <laughs> wow, let me soak you in. Let me look. Let me, so let me look. be up there even though I'm sitting? You wearing panties or just pantyhose? Panty house. Panty house. <laughs> do I need? I don't really yeah, need do. this. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, Put right. your headphones so on. So big deal. Her hair is up so high, she can't get the yeah, headphones Yeah, believe me, it looks okay. good. <laughs> well, you know. You look great. I don't know what Gary's Guys. talking about. Uh -huh. What did he say? I Gary goes. Gary. He was very complimentary. No, Gary goes to me, walks in, right? Yeah. Well, you want to hear how people talk behind your back? <laughs> do you? You don't care. You're good looking, so you can handle it. Gary goes, Gary goes to me, hey, Howard. <laughs> what a body on Fran, but you know, it's real early in the morning. It looks like someone punched her in the face. This is what he says. He didn't say no, he yeah, he goes to me like that. And I go, What do you mean by that? Because, well, she, you know, it's early for her. She'll be puffy. Oh, you should have seen those. You look boys younger. In the green room. You look younger and Sutter, sexier. John, Mark, they all came in. They all wanted to talk to me. You look younger and sexier. Than I've ever seen you. Oh, thanks. I get, well, I could say the same compliment to you. I guess it's success. <laughs> yes. <it is. laughs> the only person puffy in here is me in my pants. If you notice, my pants are puffed up. <laughs> maybe that's what yes. Gary meant. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. What do you mean? When you watch me on the uh, E show, you find that I am sexier uh, now? <laughs> do you? Yeah. You look good. You I look do? thin. Yeah. Well, now I, I know why you wear glasses, though. This is early to be put on camera. Let you're not kidding. You. It certainly is, my dear. Well, uh -huh. congratulations to you on the success of this nanny. I gave I it three weeks. I always predicted Thank that you. it would be a hit. Uh -huh. I didn't think it would be. I'll really? be honest with you. What do Everybody I know? Everybody loved it. Yeah, well, uh, listen. It was one of the highest tested shows for CBS. I didn't think anyone could take your voice, but i got to tell you something. <laughs> it's so funny. You're funny, and well, you look, it. and you know what it is? 
You don't look like a woman with that voice. You know the secret of your success. That's, you, yeah. You're gorgeous. Uh, you I don't even ass. think she sounds like that. You got a nice I think ass? she has a nice voice. She the, puts that on. I think you do. I think you put it on a little bit. I've been told by people that you put on the voice a little bit. I don't, I don't really think I put it oh. on. <laughs> oh, man. You know, really. I mean, it's 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 so weird because uh, my we I was down in Orlando uh, doing something for Disney World. My parents went there because they uh, retired down in Florida. They wanted to be different. And uh, my mom says, because I'm getting all... Everybody always talks about the voice. And my mom says, in the exact same voice, we never knew she had a funny voice. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Laugh an, the whole thing. You're an actress. Yeah. So you have to be able to. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. What, if what? somebody today offered her a yeah. million dollars to be in a movie, right? And they said, but you know the problem is you got the right look, honey. Obviously, you got a body that doesn't quit. I say dub me. Yeah, yeah, no, you wouldn't. You oh. would. Say, they'd say, but listen, we need you to talk like a we temptress. Need somebody with a <clears throat> British accent. I guarantee you. <laughs> Fran, Fran, speak in a British... I'm hiring you now for a movie. I'm auditioning you, all right? It's the biggest movie of the year. You're going to star opposite uh, 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 Tom Cruise. It's, uh, Tom Cruise. Speak, I need you, though, to be British and very alluring. We can't have and, you do the New York accent. Very upper class. Right, go ahead. Uh, I can speak in a proper British accent. Ah, I can ah. manage to do that quite well. But the thing is, nobody ever hires me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I took yeah. lessons. Robin Shaw, speak I British I with her. How to speak Get her into it. Speak British with I her, Robin. She knows flow. how to speak do Speak to British. Uh, Hello. I work with Charles Sean to say he's British. Go ahead, Robin. Do your British. Good morning to you. Uh, come on. <laughs> sweet tea, sweet tea. See? How do you that see? That see? So you can do it. You know, your breasts don't look as big as usual. Because uh, I'm, I'm not wearing a padded bra today. Is that right? No, seriously. I she usually wears the Wonder Bra. I remember you with the. I, I remember you with Jezebel. bigger breasts. I remember Jezebel. you with bigger breasts. <laughs> Those were the days I was younger then. No, no, no. Seriously, what did you do? She ran them off with oh, all nothing. this work. Oh, what are you? Nothing. Are this you is a, a very small. I'm a B. Yeah. I always thought you were a C. No, you're confusing me with someone else. I'm confusing you with Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> That's who it is. So now you're making a lot of money. You don't have to have the stupid crouton business and anymore. You the, the croutons, show. meanwhile, I heard everybody was eating them. As you're putting them down, you're popping them in, my, in your mouth. Right. <laughs> and no, the croutons, uh, I love the crouton business, and that gave me so much management skills now. Yeah, that, great. You know, That's just what you're looking for. Running a company, it's all the Are same. you still doing that? Yeah, definitely. And you, uh, this this show, The Nanny, and you own really the show. Your production company owns the show. Well, we and uh, Stern and Frazier and TriStar Studios. It sounds like too many guys. Uh, too uh, many hands in No, that Stern top. and Frazier Three is owners. a married couple. They're our executive producers. Three owners equals no money. Mm. Uh, so hey, good. we're first getting into merchandising. We're going to do a nanny doll. Just pull a string and she whines. Well, let me tell you something. My kids like that show. They would probably buy a nanny doll. I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I'm, <clears throat> I appreciate it. Oh, that. excuse me. How silly of me. Oh, I apologize. And salami yet. Yeah. Oh, oh you smell. Anyway, Fran, of course, uh, has an interesting background. We all know it. I think we might have actually... But I've lost weight, so... Talk, talk to we her did. about this one. I just remembered. We talked yeah. to... One, remember? You see, we were having all you're, the... You're getting at when I was a victim of a violent crime? Yeah. Fran was raped. Yeah. Which is, like, not funny. I know. But, well, have you noticed no one's laughing? But I really, I brought it up one time on the air, right? I mean, it's like, no, I don't think you ever did, but that I was before we, we were televised. Because we, you've like <laughs> sold out, and now you're going for the jugular. Yeah, right. No, no, no. I, I was saying, like, how do you bring, I was talking to Robin earlier this morning, I said, hey, Fran Drescher's coming in the nanny. Uh, and and you, I said to her, you know, I read in People Magazine that she was, you know, the victim of a violent crime. That's so, how we like to call ourselves. What do you mean? Like, people have been raped, don't want to say, hey, we were raped, because that makes no, you like No, no, it's just, I don't know, you get categorized this is that a stigma. way when you work with the police and when you work with, all of those things somehow you just no no because everyone's like embarrassed to say it's rape so they just go oh you were the victim of a violent no, crime no I don't think so no I just think that that's that's a technical term that when you unfortunately have to go through the process uh, of uh, the legal system oh you I know, see what you that's saying. how you get classified so you tend to I don't know pick up on it so I said but to Robin it's not because it's a stigma you know bad things happen to good people I'm sure there's no one in this room that's walked through life on, you don't go through you know you don't go through life unscathed. Everybody to tell her, Jackie. Says, bad things happen to bad people. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about yeah. being scathed. Bad things should happen to bad people, but unfortunately, it doesn't this. always work that Is way. Is the perpetrator in this room? 
<laughs> Take a look at these two no, gentlemen. He's been incarcerated. I'm happy to say. Oh, that's and good. still incarcerated. Yeah. Hopefully, yes, they let a lot of these nice. guys out right I away. No, 114 years. Oh, really? no kidding. He must have like gotten a lot of people. Yes. What yes. was the mo on there this guy? There were two busloads of witnesses. They called us witnesses. When White guys or black guys? Them and said, "Well, you know, is how uh, many people What are you upset about? Why the uh, black? Black guys did it? No, they. Yeah, they were black. But oh, it was a group. It, Brothers. Oh, boy. Oh, my well, God. Well, it runs in the family. So, you mean they had done so many, they had gone around and done so many heinous crimes yeah. that there was a busload of victims brought two in. Two busloads. Wow. Two busloads. Two black dudes, huh? Yeah, two two guys. Well, you don't like you don't talk parole. about the racial thing? One was on parole. Had they well, done mostly white women? A, because the was color it of white skin women? didn't ch didn't make better or worse what happened to me. I mean, it's just it has nothing to do with the color of the. No, I'm not trying to make an racial issue out of okay. this. I'm just oh, curious okay. what. The, but but okay. I think it's just you know I mean even to ask what color you didn't ask what color their hair was or their eyes were. Of course not. Who cares? He just irrelevant. assumes all crime is uh, committed by black people. That's they, his I do not. Were they very you black? Do too. Were they full African or were they a little white in them? <laughs> were they, were they were like really like big black guys. Uh, no, they weren't that. Um, <laughs> big? No, they weren't that big. No, well, you know, it's just they had guns, so they oh, were really? big enough. Oh my <laughs> God, you must have been freaking. Were you being robbed well, as well? Were, the, were you in yeah, the ha yeah, house? Yeah, they took. They loaded. Yeah, one brother loaded up the car while the other, while the other brother who was actually the rapist, raped both myself and my girlfriend. Oh. Did they get the same <laughs> amount of time? No, the other brother wasn't a rapist. He no, 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 I don't mean that. I mean, did oh. they get the same amount of time in jail? Oh, not the same amount of time oh. with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, mean, I got your question. She uh, thought uh, something else. Yeah, Fran thought, did, they, oh, no. did each brother get an equal amount of time, or did like one have to have no, be quick no, and the other one... No, no. So, no, no, I, I, mean, I you know, I, uh, I underestimated you. I thought you were being tackier than you no, were. No, I was being... I was, you were I was, being sincere and I am. concerned and interested. Oh, I am. It's a horrible story. You did not get the same amount of time, no, obviously. All right, now what about because the other question? Did each brother get the same amount? of time? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I, mean, rapist. You I didn't think of that question. All right, so funny I answered answer. both questions. No, what I'm saying is that, in other words, the but cops, you know, how did the cops catch this. these guys? Well, I must say that I have a photographic memory, and I was watching TV just that week, and I was watching, they were saying that, you know, it was on one of these talk shows, and they were saying that if you're in a situation, you know, it's really important that you get the details, the features. Very important. But these Most guys let you see them? Most victims get so scared, they don't uh, consciously try and be aware of that. But they let you see them? Well, actually, yeah, I mean, you know, They didn't have yes. their faces covered. And then we were, they were blindfolded with my husband's ties. Oh, you but, were married at the time? Yeah. Oh, I've been married for a million years. So you must be horny. But, uh, <laughs> right? You're talking about a well, rape. Well, I've now. done... No, no, I've, I mean, she must be I've, horny for, you like... You just don't bring you it know, up I well. Oh, you don't bring up... Oh, you mean I can't bring up uh, horny? No, no, no. She's no, a no, woman. No. We can <laughs> change the subject. No, I like this subject. Let me just ask you something. Go ahead. Let me just ask you something. Does the name Marty Cotrere... Yeah, I know Ring Marty. Now, how do you know Marty? Okay, my executive... He didn't rape you, did he? No. <laughs> no, all right, go ahead. Because really really Marty, really I went to high school. High school, okay. He's okay. a very nice guy. Oh, all right, okay. Because how do he you knows, know him? He knows Rob Stern and my executive producer, and he's always saying he was like your best buddy. No, not my school. best, but almost my best. Really? So, and you know, for a while, my I'm best. You know why I like Marty Gatrayer? I'm going to tell you why I like Marty Gatrayer. <laughs> when I went to high school, when my parents finally moved out of a black community and we moved into a white community, Marty and I went to high school. Marty had just moved to the high school from Canarsie, Brooklyn, which he is no picnic. Another one of the nerds you hung around Well, with. Even, you know, okay, if you want to put it that way. But anyway, <laughs> Marty came over to my table. He saw me sitting alone at the lunch table. No one would talk to me. You have to understand how repulsive I am without a radio show. <laughs> that, that people, I have, I, people, I have such a lack of charisma without the radio show. I was sitting there by myself. The way my mother dressed me was pathetic in 10th grade. <laughs> and with it the long hair, the clothes a mess, everything. the nasal yeah. hair. I'm sitting there by myself. And this guy walks over, he says, hey, you look like you're alone. I'm alone. I'm from Canarsie. I just moved here. I'd like to be your pal. My name is Marty Gatrayer. Uh, and can I talk to you? Bless his heart. Then he raped me. Uh -huh. oh, wait a second. I identified him by every detail. No, no, no. And then we became friends, and Marty is a terrific guy. Terrific. Mm. But well, of course, I never call him anymore because I'm much too important. Uh -huh. The only reason the two of you were together was because you had no one else. No, no, nice guy. I liked be him. Be honest. No, no, no. You in had fact, no one else. Wrong. If you liked him, you'd still be in touch with him. I don't like yeah, anyone no. that much. I mean, you know. You know what you, I'm saying? You drift. Right. You drift. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a second. Let's get back to your story. Never mind Marty. 
Do you think Marty's attractive? Yeah, I've never even met Marty. Oh, okay. He's friends with Rob Stern and my executive producer, and he's always telling Rob that, you know, you guys were good buddies in high school. And Rob said, if you're doing Howard Stern, you got to ask him, because I don't know whether to believe him has or Rob, whether he was a passing acquaintance. Or has Rob dumped Marty as a friend as well? <laughs> now that he's a success with your show? <laughs> All right, now listen to me. Let me get this straight. I know. Well, we are enjoying. You know, now we're no, I don't mean to, Monday I, I hope nights. you don't think I'm making a joke out of rape. Uh, well, there's no, it's I'm not. not a joke. It's right. not a okay, Shanta. It's no, not let's anything get to this, that you please. have to How many years for. ago did this happen? One out of three women get raped in no, Let me get life. back to this story. Hold it. Hold it. Never mind Which all that. Really, Never mind the speech. Never mind the speech. Oh, so well, well, wait a minute. You, you put me on this. She is well adjusted, but you get to that to the end of the story. I know how to tell but a story. But that's the happy ending to it. That okay. you can, I don't want a happy you know, ending yet. If you, if you live, then you can start. As long as you have life, you can start. How old were you when it happened? Uh... And, you know, this isn't even new news. It's so funny you're bringing this up. I mean, this That's is That's new to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know everything. What you were wearing, everything. How, uh, old, how yeah. old were you when this happened? Uh, I, I would say I was, uh, I think I was probably, uh, like, it was probably like eight, nine years ago. So I was probably like 26. 26. So you're at home. You're mellowing out for the night. And there's another friend over? Or are you sharing an apartment with somebody? Oh, no. Which, we're, uh, it's, uh, my girlfriend was over. Yeah, like a friend. Yeah. Right. Two of you were not lesbians together, though, right? <laughs> oh, let me tell you a funny story. Wait a minute. No, no, no. No, wait. No, I don't want the funny story. Totally no. gonna Trust me. Wait. No, no tangents. <laughs> no tangents. You're missing out on a really good joke. Right on story. How much you want to bet it's not a good story? Go ahead. Let me hear the story. Go ahead. Let me hear that story. Uh, uh, I'm talking to my mom on the phone. And she says to me, so how was your day? We saw you on a TV show. And then suddenly she starts talking to my father. And she says, no, Marty, fast forward. I don't like two women together. That don't turn me on. Oh, my God. What were they watching? <laughs> Obviously, they were watching some kind oh, of report. Oh, that's album. disgusting. And she never even thought she's talking to her daughter on the phone. Uh, uh, so she She's talking to me on the phone while they're watching this. I mean, people. Bad story. I think I'll talk. Shh, I'll call friends. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay. I want to understand everything that happened. Do you mind? Yeah. No. Okay. okay as long as you can handle. No. It. No. Right. So, because this is good for other victims. I'm only asking this because it's good for other victims of crime. Well, you know, especially yeah. when a celebrity can admit. To That's something right. Then like people that. are but ashamed. But then, if that be the feel. case, then yeah. Let me. Right. I was saying that one out of three women it does happen to. Right. So but you, that's what I'm saying. Those women don't world. know that there are other people like them who have reached your. Oh, level. there are so many people. Those guys should have had their penises chopped off and beheaded in public. What do you I think agree. of that? What do you think of that? Yeah, I agree. I, I believe in capital punishment. You're damn right you do, because this here's a woman who knows. I bet you. This guy was on parole, thank right. you very much. For? Why the system let this guy yes. out? Yes. What was he on parole for? For uh, rape? Uh, I don't think for rape. Uh, let's hope not. That I, know, I, I think it was for armed robbery. Yeah. But even I mean, if even three that. strikes, you're out. Suppose you're the first two strikes. Yeah, good luck. But okay, you know, anyway, wait a second. I don't I want to get... Because yeah. I, I uh, did an excellent uh, police uh, sketch. So in other a, words, you're the hero. This guy... Of course, Fran's <laughs> always the hero. The picture, well, it's my story. <laughs> You're doing an episode on the nanny of this. It's my story. Yeah. Go ahead. But uh, this guy was... Um, did he look like O.J.? Oh. Or was he darker? <laughs> was he darker than O.J.? Yes no, or no? No. 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 Darker, no, lighter no. than A.C. Cowling's? Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, he would... He was light-skinned. Medium, I would say. But the skin is not... No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking for the description. Yeah, it helps know. my well, audience. So the good. thing is, it was the eyes that were so uh, weirdly... Cold and steely. Set very far apart and, uh, and back. the way he held his mouth and stuff like that. So this all appeared kinky hair, in the drawing. Short kinky hair or the Afro style? Uh, you know, it, that was, no, it was, it was pretty close. You know, Go ahead. I don't know. All right. I can't remember. That must have been some police yeah, sketch. She, she was so detailed. She's describing <laughs> Sidney Poitier. Well, you know, it's not, it, it, I'll, um, take my word for it. It looked just like him. And, like Sidney uh, Poitier? Like the guy. Oh, like the guy. Go ahead. All right. And Did you go here, by the way, I have the police artist? sketch. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to show it. Here. here. Uh, <laughs> according to Fran. It's a stick like figure. It. That's, some, they, that's yeah. some description. Go ahead. I'm showing a picture of a stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Now, and then they had a stakeout in, in the area that he was really, uh, you know. But here's a guy who's released. So he was working One that marked car spoke. Yeah, he was working uh, the neighborhood. One marked, unmarked car uh, was on a walkie-talkie to the next one and the next one. And suddenly they see this car driving around. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. 
with license plates from the neighborhood that my car that they stole was found in. Uh-huh. So they screwed up these guys. Of so course. when they stopped him just before he got onto the freeway, he had a, a pocket full of uh, jewelry and his fly was unzipped. Uh-huh. And some poor woman, woman, you know, there was just Not one, enough. one more woman that had to be a victim before he was apprehended. And then, you know... And this guy's living on the taxpayer's dole now. now. He's living in prison, probably having a party. Did it ever occur in to another you... Co- in another time, it would have been hung. Did right. It, did it ever occur to you not to testify you wanted oh, to? Oh, no, no, no. Why wouldn't I want to testify? Well, this lots guy, of people don't, for you. Oh, I felt bad for everybody that was... You know, based on your description... Them soon enough. Based on your description, I have drawn a picture of what I think the rapist <laughs> looked like, and here it is. <laughs> Robin, what do you think? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> is that close? <laughs> Who is that? That's <laughs> Gary, my producer. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, that, that so so that's the like story. Gary. And then you're sitting at home, you and your friend, and then all of a sudden this guy like bursts through the door. Yeah. Burst through the door. Right. They bre- break it open. The dog. That's was brazen. Barking. What kind of neighborhood do you the have? Dog the dog was dogs barking. barking. I thought you sell croutons. I thought you had some money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. The guy bursts through the door, and right. then he does his his rudeness. He ties you up. Yeah. Wow. And he ties your friend up? Right. Oh. And, uh, and you figured you were dead? Yeah. I would figure I was if I, You know what? You would have I'd make it in my pants. You would die. Did you make it in your pants? I, I would have made it in my I pants. I peed in my pants, You actually. did? Really? I would. Yeah. I would have been so scared I'd pee in my pants. Yeah. I think you'd do a lot worse. I'd vomit yeah, and go number two also. The moment you know, I would <laughs> vomit, pee, and number two all at the same time. <laughs> you would, too. Right. I mean, and you but know what the interesting thing is about people that have guns in the house? Usually they keep them... Like next to the bed or something, and this totally wouldn't have helped. Helped us you at all? We were in the kitchen. Unless yeah. you, carry you carry a gun, gun on, on your you. body, right. like they do in the movies, you're never going to be prepared for it because you're. Be armed at all times, citizens in your homes. <laughs> uh-huh. I am serious. I am a big believer I in that. Until you shoot gun. your foot off. Sleep with I it. Mean, I know. It's sleep with it and kill be- on command. I am telling you, we are under siege. <laughs> Keep a gun in your buttocks if you have nowhere to put it. Shoot first. And shoot first. Well, later. it's amazing with all the people. Do you now keep a gun in the house, based on this? Uh, no, we you don't do believe not. in. We don't believe in that. You we don't think it would have helped you anyway. So what the hell's the difference? Um, no, it wouldn't have helped me. Well, right. you're not I know it wouldn't have helped me, and then it might have been used uh, against me. <laughs> what? Now you really can't live life that way, considering <laughs> there are so many people out there. It's amazing that we all get along as well as we do, because there's always going to be. Listen, I don't buy that. We don't even get along in this room. I'm talking about this little crew <laughs> here. Sure, no, no, no. I. This is a perfect example of utopia. <laughs> That's right. Now listen to me, friend. Now, you've been living in L.A. too long. <laughs> So everything turned out all right because you prevailed. Right. And that's, that's the point. The thing. And you weren't a victim in the sense Pick because... Pick up the pieces. Right. Yeah. Go on with your life. Right. Move on and... Uh, so how long before that beautiful body was being used again? Probably for years you wouldn't even use oh, it. Oh, no, no. You got you to gotta get right back uh, you know, in the saddle? into action. No Excellent. kidding. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you're... Oh, and that's your husband I was supportive? He didn't have... No, he left her. Lots of times husbands <laughs> are traumatized by this, too. Oh, I would be. Especially two big black guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, man, I'm not adequate. Oh, you're uh, just listen, that's a, because Listen, that I, I can tell you firsthand that that's a... That's a a uh, myth? Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. But not. But that's that's a ridiculous thing to say, as, as if your wife enjoyed the rape. No, not enjoyed, but... No, you know he's saying. saying he would make it about him, of course. Of course, like it's always about me. <laughs> and then it would be his problem. It's I my can't problem. cope with it. It's, it's like not this Fran's problem, it's my problem. problem. But what did he right. say? He'd be too inadequate in the face of two black men right. if his wife had been raped by them. <laughs> now, Fran, the point is, look how you prevailed. You are a network television star. What is your show like? Number? It's always in the top ten or something. We were uh, actually no, but we were twenty one. Uh, that's like good. Last week. That's no, it's excellent a out of a hundred, and that's reruns in the summer. We got so promoted the network... to Monday nights now, eight o'clock. This Monday, Monday nights. Twelve. My sister's birthday. Hold on a second. Monday night at eight o'clock this coming Monday, it's I will the see new the nanny. Now, why season. did they switch the time period? It's a big promotion. You know, now we have a new network president, Peter Torrisi. Does he know anything? He's uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's Torrisi. Hell of a job. Total Risi sounds like a pig Latin name. Uh, you know what I mean? Sounds like the guy you were thinking this morning. Yeah, right. Italiano. <laughs> Italiano. And uh, he uh, he put us on Mondays and Wednesdays all summer, and we built a tremendous following. Because, you know, Wednesdays is a time. You're on right? Monday and Wednesday? All summer. We've been on Mondays and Wednesdays. In I fact, tonight. I was seeing an awful oh, lot well, of you. Oh, well, today's Thursday. Yeah, I, I, you know, they're overexposing her. 
<laughs> no, we were building, building, and now we're going to be on Mondays. So we Peter Tortorisi made this decision. Right. Yeah, uh, Peter Tur- I, He'll have that job two months. You'll see. He'll be a new guy. How long did the last yeah, Don't Don't get too attached. <laughs> you know, I don't believe I've ever gotten a good look at your yeah, husband. Yeah, you know, I'm doing a book with Judith Regan. Her Are you really? Yeah. Attractive. What do you mean? What are you writing a book about? Uh, I'm writing a humorous sto- a tale of my experiences in show business. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. You're very lucky. Well, I'm sure she'll have lots of time to edit your book. Uh, mm. She has for me. Yeah, I'm sure she won't be too busy. Uh, good luck. No, I'll no, try of to course. Get her on the phone. She is wonderful. Uh-huh. She is wonderful, actually. Don't put that rape story in there. There's no laughs in that. No, no, this isn't about that. Rape that's is what, not. You know, when I'm on the downslide of my career, I'll do the tell-all. Right. That's when you save that. Uh, save it for them. That's right. Rape does not equal She's chuckles. She's calculating. That's right. what I like. Hey, w- w- hey, let me see your shoes. What are you wearing for shoes? I'm wearing thigh high boots. Yeah, first of all, you got to wear heels if you're going to wear that. And don't wear black stockings under your thigh-high boots. It's Let's green, see some Bob. Take off your sunglasses. Here's what I want you to do. Green with black. I want you to go into the ladies' room, uh-huh. remove your stockings, uh-huh. and just wear the boots so I can see some leg. Uh-huh. Please. As a favor. I'll consider that a favor. <laughs> Fran is the uh, star of uh, The Nanny. I guess, and are you uh, one of the producers? I'm one of the producers, yes. And so what happens when you go into the syndication? You guys will be making a we boatload of dough? We get a piece dough. of the action. That's my new mantra. Piece of the action? Syndication. Syndication, you can't <laughs> wait. When I get a little intense, I just it calms me. I say syndication. And syndication. you like doing what you're doing. It's cool being on a sitcom oh, and you get to hang it. out with people. I love it. And we what's the story on your husband? People. You employ him? My husband is actually my boss. He's the executive producer. No, yeah, right. You know, she's another one. The husband is always around. Yeah. Uh-huh. You and Suzanne Summers ought to get together. We've been together since we were 15. Are you kidding? We had to work through our codependency. I mean, What was, was your codependency? I, I wouldn't think of going anywhere or doing anything without him. I couldn't really enjoy oh, myself really? if we were to together. Other. Exactly. <laughs> because we grew up with each other. It's, you, know, you and your husband? I mean, is your husband yeah. a good looking guy? He is. Yeah, you know he Peter. Is? Yeah. Let me see him. It's Peter. I always mm. forget what he looks like. I don't think yeah. he's good oh, looking. Oh, and Chester. Oh, he's uh-huh. cute. What's Chester, your dog? How you doing? Yeah. Why don't you have some kids instead of dogs? Uh, well, that, I had a TV show. That's what I had. I don't have time yeah. for a kid. No, I you're mean, right. And you don't want to run your some, body. You it's, had a kid when you weren't successful, so it was easy. You had plenty of time. Yeah, that's true. Now to have a baby, you wouldn't have time, but we'll I wait. I just had a baby. We'll wait until we're like more in our, <laughs> when we're in our 40s, maybe we'll want to have kids, but not now. I can't believe you're now nailing Fran. Now we've got Fran. too much frolicking hey, somebody's to do. Better, right? You know Fran what, since high school? 15, yeah. So you haven't cheated on her the whole time? No. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> you lying? No. Don't lie to me. I'll throw you right out of here. I hey, I'm a tough act to follow. Look, yeah, you're hot. I, I mean, cheat? yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> the voice is intense, but... My, you've been together for like 16 years. And what, you're the executive... He loves the voice. It makes him laugh all You're the, the time. executive producer of The Nanny? Yeah. With and Stern and, and Fraser. And a writer. And, and writer. Oh. Yeah. What's he writing? And what were you doing before this? show. Right before this, I did the Dan Aykroyd TV show. The Dan Aykroyd TV show. Yeah, that CCPD never happened. It was a pilot. Oh. Was I heard that was pilot. a rumor. No. Uh, no, no. no. Well, they made a pilot. It was quite good. Yeah. I like but, that whole thing where your wife for... works and you sort of like get, become the executive producer. That's, I guess, Suzanne Summer's husband. Yeah. Hey, he's a great work if you can get it. You know? It's cool. Uh-huh. What you do is you, you know you latch on to. Well, you know what I mean. Not latch on, but <laughs> all right, you latch on to uh, you know a hot babe. I wouldn't do a TV show ever without Peter. He's really the uh, <laughs> soul of the show. He's got you brainwashed. <laughs> the soul of the Who show. Who came up with the idea? Well, the you know that's what they say about Desi Arnaz. <laughs> what about And him? I Love Lucy. He did know, nothing. He, Desi did she nothing. She went on and did several shows without him. Yeah, mm-hmm. Desi did nothing after that show. Him. What do you mean? <laughs> Desi Lou Studios. Yeah, right? Desi Lou Studios. But that was the producing end of it. You think uh, Fran's husband is better looking than me? No. <laughs> that was a long pause. What do you think? Nah, he's not better looking than Good. <laughs> How would you cool looking? Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You shouldn't be so obsessed with looks. Well, I'm very obsessed with looks <laughs> because I know looks are everything. Why do you think guys put up with your voice? <laughs> looks are everything, my darling. My voice is the voice. Our, uh, you know, our house is the house my voice built. That's right. <laughs> your husband thanks you know, God for your voice every day. You asked me out there when you were putting down my voice, do I mind? Do I mind? I said, meanwhile, he spent 20 minutes talking about my voice. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Fran, I'm very oh. happy for you. You happen to be a nice woman. And you're, Thank you. I have you in you all the time because you're a piece of ass. I like looking at you. <laughs> I want to say I how like lucky. I'm talking to you. I feel like we're cut from the same cloth. No one is cut from this cloth. <laughs> they threw out this they cloth. They threw that bail away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they threw my voice away. And I want to uh, thank, of course, your husband, who continues to uh, leech what off your success. What are your other? Uh, is he producing any?
any other programs? Is he? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, actually, we have a couple of spinoffs going now. Is that right? Yes, uh-huh. we do. <laughs> and you uh, love Fran, of course, because you are married to her, and you get to be the executive producer of her show, which is That's a fantastic right. thing. <laughs> and Tom Arnold doesn't call you for advice. <laughs> 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 He All right. should have. He, he should have. have. He should have. He made a big mistake. Uh-huh. Fran, good for you. I'm proud of you and the nanny, and uh, thank you for that show. <laughs> All right. Very good. Robin. Yes? We'll take a break. Fran Drescher, the star of the nanny. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, and good luck with the show, and I we'll be back right that. after these words. Okay, see, that wasn't so bad. 